Hey, it's Joe, and welcome back to Human Phones. Let's get real about something most people avoid when they talk about the spiritual journey. It's dark, it's gritty, it's lonely. You see, the spiritual path isn't all light and love, isn't some clean, easy stroll through fields of bliss. It's more like walking through a storm, blindfolded. While every part of you you've ever tried to ignore gets ripped open. The truth is, awakening isn't comfortable. It's a dismantling. And anyone who's walked this path will tell you, it isn't for the faint of heart. At some point, you're going to face the parts of yourself you buried. And I don't mean the quirky flaws or the cute insecurities. I mean the shadow, the rage, the fears, the shame you've buried so deep it's barely recognizable as yours. The spiritual journey, it drags all of that to the surface. It demands that you look at yourself fully, honestly, painfully, and yeah, it's going to hurt. It's going to shatter every illusion you've built to keep yourself comfortable. There's a point along this journey where you realize that every belief you've held on to, every identity you built, every story you've told yourself to make sense of the world, it all has to go. You start to see the cracks in the walls. The places where you've been lying to yourself, hiding from yourself. And those walls, they don't come down easily. They crumble piece by piece, each one ripping away a layer of who you thought you were. And then that rubble, when the masks are gone and the comfortable lies are dust on the ground, you're left with nothing. Just yourself exposed. To be left with nothing but yourself, no distractions, no illusions. Just the stark reality of who you are and who you're not. It's like standing on the edge of a cliff, staring into a void that's staring right back at you. This journey will make you question everything you thought you knew. It'll make you wonder if you're losing your mind, if you're unraveling. And in a way, you are, because to awaken is to unravel. So let go of the parts of yourself that were never really you in the first place. The old self has to die, bit by bit, before something new can be born. There are nights when it feels like the darkness will swallow you whole. When you're lost in your own mind, spiraling through every mistake, every regret, every buried pain, you want to escape to go back to the comfort of ignorance, to slip back in the safety of your old life. But once you start this path, there's no turning back. You can't unknow what you know. You can't unsee what you've seen. That's the curse and the gift of awakening. Because here's the paradox. In that darkness, in that emptiness, something incredible starts to happen. When you're stripped bare, when you're raw and vulnerable, you start to find pieces of yourself you never knew existed. Strengths you never knew you had. Depths you never dared explore. In the rubble of your old self, you find fragments of truth, small glowing pieces of who you truly are beyond the masks, beyond the conditioning. The journey doesn't lead you to some perfect version of yourself. It leads you back to what's real. And what's real isn't always pretty. It's raw, it's messy, it's imperfect, but it's you. And once you find that, once you see yourself clearly without the filters, without the masks, there's a peace in that. A kind of quiet strength that no one can take away from you because it's not based on anything external. The kind of strength that comes from knowing you faced yourself. Your shadows, your darkest depths, and you're still here. So yeah, the spiritual path is dark. It's filled with moments that break you open, that make you doubt everything, that force you to confront the ugliest parts of yourself. But it's also a path to liberation. Not from pain, not from struggle, but from the need to hide from yourself. From the need to pretend, to wear a mask, to live for anyone else's approval. And if you're walking this path right now, if you're in that darkness, feeling lost, feeling broken, know this, you're not alone. Every soul that's awakened has walked the same darkness. Every seeker faced their shadows and wrestled with fear and despair. This isn't a punishment, it's part of the process. The crucible that transforms, that burns away the falsehoods and leaves only what's true. So if